Hey guys, this is Eric from Daytona Jeep and Golf Cart Rental, and today I'm going to show you how we clean up the seats. Uh, this one's been out of rental for probably a month, and it's been sitting here just kind of in. But I had it parked uh, over here. Uh, shrubs over there. And I'm going to show you what we do to clean this up. Um, I have a solution that I got at the car lot. We use it on uh, some vinyl that cleans it up okay. And then I ended up buying some seat dye, light buckskin in color from the local paint shop. And I'll show you uh, how we spray this on these seats. They look really disgusting now, but we'll turn it on almost brand new. Alright, so the first step is we're just going to spray some of the solution on the seats, kind of let it sit there for a few minutes. This will bring up some of the stains, and then we'll kind of uh, get the rest out after we do some dye. You can see, I mean, they're just kind of dirty in general. But these will come out, and then you'll see how nice it'll look at the very end here. But uh, not too often, we try to keep up with them. Again, this one wasn't in rental for maybe a month or so. And just from sitting you know, outside, this one doesn't have the rear canopy, so it gets beat up even more than normal. But uh, these will actually clean up. You'll see, you know, even after that first little wipe down, uh, a lot of the kind of mildew is getting picked up continue to get better. You can see along the sides here. And on top. These are really caked on, so actually got a scrub brush to try to bring up a little bit more. It really doesn't matter actually, uh, because you'll see what this dye will do. It'll take almost all of this out. You won't be able to see any of it. Not perfect, but definitely cleaner. We got a lot of the dirt off. And now, I'll show you the next step. All right, the next step is make sure you shake these cans really well. Give it a good minute or two, and then we'll get started. All right, here we go. So just go light at first. Color matches actually pretty well. So you really won't be able to even tell after this is all done. You don't want to go too heavy at first, so it's just kind of a light dusting. You can see already that looks a ton better than what it did before. But uh, I'm going to save this top piece 
for tomorrow. It's getting a little dark out and uh, almost dewy. So I would tape off this top part with the blue tape and then lay a blanket in between the uh, front and rear seats so you don't have any overspray on it. But uh, this is what it looks like, or this is what it will look like. I'll put a couple more coats on here, and uh, you really won't be able to tell at all what was underneath there. And, uh, it may need touched up every once in a while, but it's a really good, cheap, inexpensive way of making a seat look almost brand new. I think these cans are just under 20 bucks, 18 dollars maybe for a can, and uh, this would really, I bought two cans just to be safe, uh, but it really should only take one can to do the whole thing. So, if this was at all helpful, please make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we appreciate it. Have a great day.